Ooh, just about to start our haunted tour of St Mary Magdalene's churchyard and the lovely lady vicar and her husband came along and nearly gave me a heart attack. I didn't know they were there. But yeah, this is the church of St Mary Magdalene's. It's a beautiful church. And we're here for the midnight mass soon. But what I will show you first, to round, start off our, we've seen it in the daytime. Put my flash on. Where is it? George Story. It's the grave of George Story. He was born at sea. Um, in 1804 he was born. And he was of this parish, but born at sea. So that's an interesting one. And over here, as we've already seen, they're not buried here, but they are mentioned in this on this grave. And last Sunday, when I was here. It was still snowy and icy, and I nearly fell over in the ice, but that's okay. This grave here, put my flashback on and see if I can read it. We've got um, also Edward James William, son of the above, which is RJ and J.P. Rogers, so he's their son, aged 31 years. Also, Edward Henry Bagley, nephew of the above, aged 33 years, who lost their lives in the Titanic disaster, April the 15th, I believe, 1912. And, and you've got some other family, but these, are, these three graves here are three family graves. And then you've got the lovely church. Take a couple of pictures. Please enter by the South Pole Church. That's the same way as last week. All right, so let me check my time. Quarter to 11. We've still got plenty of time. this isn't just a churchyard you see it's a nature reserve and is also reputed to be haunted not by many ghosts but by one ghost and the ghost in particular is known as old Jack and he was a sexton here in charge of burials and maintaining the churchyard and that kind of thing and he was sexton here in the body snatcher era Old Jack is said to have lived hard by the churchyard and this was near enough to London for body snatchers to come along. There are no reports of that ever happening but whenever old Jack heard or thought he heard or saw anything amiss how he would come with his lantern and his great dog and his ghost has been seen in the churchyard several times. And if you come with good intent, old Jack will let you lint. Oh, there we go. Nearly fell over then. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. And this is where churchyard becomes nature reserve. And I didn't come this way last time, but I was told this evening if I stick to the path, I can have a walk along here and give you guys and girls the tour. Not, can't go right deep into there. But. Let me know if you see anything or hear anything. If I see or hear anything, you will soon know because I will be off very, very quickly. Edith Maud, beloved daughter of George and Florence T A N 
G-U-I, Tanguai. Sounds like an oriental surname, that. May not be. Do beg their pardon if I've culturally misappropriated them. But yeah. And there is one particular grave which I cannot show you the front of because it is recent. Or well, one of them are recent. And this woman literally fought two for now to be buried in this in this cemetery. And when I say fought two for now, she fought two for now. She wanted to be buried here. And uh, she was a keen family historian. Did her family tree, discovered several of her family graves here, and discovered that one of them still had space for burials in. So that was her chance and she took it. It's very muddy along here, I must say that. Just to scrape my shoes off when I'm done. And I'm not going the whole way round because it's very large. And I don't want to disturb any of the animals. And if truth be told, I don't know who or what is in here. She's unfortunately a bit lopsided because they put the stone on too quickly. But the lady buried here, I can tell you that her name is Edith and that she died in our lifetimes. Um, yeah, so she wanted to be buried here and she fought too for now to get it done. So that is what she had done. Now we are going to walk back. That is my breath, it's nothing paranormal. Lower down, that's better. There we are. Been a busyish day today, getting the last bits and pieces done. Um, Chris Dingle service at Barking and Midnight Mass here now. So, a couple of my friends that go to Barking also attend here. They attend, the, this is the thing, they attend the Chris Dingle service at Barking, but they'll come here for Midnight Mass, because here is more traditional. Barking is very much of the old, uh, sorry, Barking is very much of the new, modern, what they call trendy, happy clappy kind of religion. And it's their parish, so they're loyal to it. But they like a bit of uh, traditionalness for Midnight Mass, so that's where you come here. And it is very traditional. The annoying thing was last week, I was given, actually given permission to pocket film. So long as she said to me, keep it in your pocket, the phone. She went, and as long as, uh, if any children come on, come along, just put your sleeve or cover, cover the uh, screen as they come along. And that's fine. And the damned alarm went off. And the phone was on silent, and I didn't realise the alarm was going off. And it stopped the filming. So, and I was given permission to film that one under the condition that I put it on on Christmas Day. So, Midnight Mass will be put on on Christmas Day for you. Because uh, the vicar says, here, the vicar, a nice person actually. Bear with me while I just go through here without falling over. Yeah, the vicar said, once I told him about what my page was about, he went, oh, it's a lovely idea. When it gives people who can't get out experiences so uh, that's one of the reasons he gave me permission to film. And he said, yeah, you can film. He went discreetly. He went, but under one condition that you put it on on Christmas Day so those who can't go to church get to a, go to a church service. So, yeah. Well, you've had your little uh, mini tour there and we've gone and seen that lady who thought two for now to be buried here. I wish I could have shown you the front, but I was specifically asked not to. So, and it is fairly recent, and she does have family alive as well, and they still come to this parish. But yeah, I was allowed to give her name and 
that she died in our lifetimes and that was pretty much about it. And you've got to respect people's privacy, haven't you? So, right. Anyway, guys and girls, that'll be it for now and join me on the inside. <laughs>